Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Navarro Lorenzo. I'm a professional dancer and choreographer. I introduce you my film and choreography video project state. A film who involved 60 dancers from 25 different countries and amazing music by Adrian Blessien Perez. The lockdown and pandemic has been an amazing experience for me to make this film possible. Involving all these artists who I used to work in my past works, but also people who I never met before from around the world. So with all of that and my choreography state, I could share my work, meet all these artists and make this film possible. Thank you so much to the festival, Wild Dog International Screen Dance Festival for choosing me in this speciality and for letting me share all this work with all of you. I hope you very like it and I can't wait to hear from you and your feedback. Thank you so much. Hi everybody, thank you very much for the prize at the Wild Dog International Screen Dance Festival. I'm very happy that an audience so far can watch this film. It was a fantastic project that involved the children in all the process of making a film since the writing and the choreography through the stage design until the sound uh, compositing, for example. Um, so I think everybody and the children particularly uh, will be very happy about this fantastic news and I wish you a super great festival. Goodbye. My name is Anna Frehey. I'm a Dutch visual artist. I'm based in London and my visual art consists out of short films but also uh, large installations. My role in this film is the filmmaking, it's the camera, it's the editing. My name is Miku Tsuchiya. I'm from Japan. I'm a dance artist. Uh, I'm also a yoga practitioner. Uh, I teach gyrokinesis movement method and I'm also a body worker and my role in the film is a dancer. Thank you for having us, yes, thank you. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the film. Hi everybody, my name is Sofia Castro. I'm the writer and director of the short film Mates, which will be screened at Wild Dogs uh, Film Festival. Uh, it was the first film that I directed while I was studying film at uh, University of Cinema in Buenos Aires. And it was also my first experience with screen dance, so and I am really, really happy with uh, the result. Um, it's, a, it's a fictional screen dance with a comedic twist that helped a lot um, to explore the boundaries of uh, the genre. So uh, thank you again and uh, I hope you enjoy it. My name is Sebastian and I'm the director of the film Spectre. I shot this film uh, in the West Texas desert uh, with just as a first intention to find a place where I felt at home. And this took about uh, nine hours of driving in the desert, <laughs> where I finally found a place where I, I felt the desire to be spontaneous, to, to follow my intuitions and become almost animal in my movements. And um, the, the fact that I made the film on my own made it so personal that I could not have been anything else but sincere in the making of the film because I was completely on my own, uh, just maybe with a few coyotes or owls staring at me, but there was really something uh, pure about my presence with the immensity of the desert and nothing else, a, a sort of huge void to try and put things into. And there was really something so natural for me to express this uh, these feelings through dance and singing and, and movement that uh, made it a very joyful experience for me to make this film and I hope you'll enjoy it as well. Hello everybody. Hi there. I'm Jen Edwards. I'm Philip McDermott. And we are the dancers and choreographers behind Shipwreck and also in front of the camera on Shipwreck. <laughs> um, it's a short contemporary dance film that we made during the COVID-19 lockdown. We filmed this in St. John's, Newfoundland, where we stayed during the COVID pandemic. Uh, our director is Simon Altine, a great buddy of ours. Um, he's currently studying in acting in Ireland. Yes, 
Yes. Um, the film also features amazing music by Greg Harrison, who goes by the name Greg, G-R-E-J. Um, and the <laughs> music came from an album that he recorded during quarantine called uh, In Search Of. And you can find that on Spotify, Bandcamp, iTunes. Um, so yeah, you'll hear a little bit of that in the film. This is a world premiere. At Wild Dogs, woohoo! Woo. Uh, we're so excited to be on the program as part of the Canadian Voices uh, section of the festival. And yeah, we hope you enjoy the film. It's very abstract. Um, it's meant to reflect on feelings, whatever it brings up for you. It's, it's not about following along with a story. So we hope you enjoy and that it brings you some kind of emotional catharsis. Yeah. Go with your gut. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy. See you guys. Hi, I'm Vital Farano, director of Alpha ZTL Company of Dynamic Art. The aim of Alpha ZTL is to break down those barriers, then to not allow social integration. The aim is to give voice to minorities often subject to prejudice by getting the sound of their voice to be heard as widely as possible. The screen dance, I Have a Dream, is inspired by the principle of Martin Luther King, who had a dream, that all men could be equal. And that the people should not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their personality. The dream has not yet been accomplished. So much still needs to be done to accept the other, the different, the refugees. The one fleeing from misery, the civil war to arrive after so many sacrifices and so much pain on our lands, consider it as a new opportunity for live. The dream of these men and women with their children is a new life for a world where they are not yet fully accepted. Years later we realize how these words can be current today because this dream has not been accomplished. And we are experiencing it in the first person with the problem of immigration. The screen dance speaks about the journey experienced by immigrants and all the difficulties encountered thirst, hunger, torture, death, and hope. The protagonists arrived in Italy here from the sea in front of me. <laughs> 